Thank you very much. Monica, all yours. Thank you, Steph, and good afternoon, everyone. This morning, the President uh, Maria Fernanda Espinosa took part in a ceremony to mark the 50th anniversary of the Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties. In 1969, the convention opened for signature. In her remarks, Ms. Espinosa said that the document is a cornerstone of multilateralism and an essential framework for the rules-based international order and provides member states with tools for the peaceful settlement of disputes. The PGA observed that whilst the world is witnessing the rise of extremist ideologies and becoming more polarized, long-established international laws and multilateral practices are being devalued by increasing acts of unilateralism. Mrs. Spinoza believes that the 50th anniversary of the Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties is also an opportunity to strengthen our rules-based international order and to restore respect for international obligations and compliance with multilateral treaties. The event at the Trusteeship Council is being attended by government lawyers, academics, and diplomats, as well as students of law. The ceremony is being co-organized by the missions of Canada and Colombia to the UN. And finally, Ms. Spinoza has sent a letter to member states informing them about the Play It Out concert to beat plastic pollution, which will take place in Antigua on 1st June. The event is part of the PJ's global campaign against plastic pollution and single-use plastics. The concert is the result of a partnership between Ms. Spinoza's office with the governments of Antigua and Barbuda in Norway. Additional support is being provided by the government of Qatar, UN Environment, UNOPS, the Green Group, and Lonely Whale, among others. The campaign has two key objectives, to raise awareness globally and to introduce changes within the UN, UN headquarters so that we walk the talk. The PGA believes that plastic pollution must be tackled from all angles, through cleanup campaigns, but also through more sustainable consumption and production in order to reduce the amount of plastics that are ending up in oceans, rivers, mountains, wildlife, and finally, in human bodies. The Play It Out concert is co-headlined by US Grammy-winning artist and actress Ashanti. The concert will be webcast via UN Web TV, and more information you can find on our website. And this is everything from us today. Do you have any questions? Yoshita, go ahead, and then I have Masood. Thank you very much. I just want to know whether the uh, PGA has any opinion or any as you're going to bear on, on Indian election and the human rights violation in Kashmir. Does she have any thing on that? Okay, in fact, Mrs. Spinoza congratulates India and uh, the people of India as well as all newly elected representatives uh, of uh, this election. And uh, she continues to, she looks forward to continue to work with India uh, in the months to come. Yes, Yoshita, go ahead. Yeah. So uh, again, will she be speaking with uh, Prime Minister Modi um, um, anytime in the next few days, maybe uh, once the elections there have also sort of uh, settled in and then, will she be speaking to him? Um, I think Mrs. Spinoza uh, actually uh, sends a congratulatory letter uh, uh, to, to the countries and uh, also uh, she uh, met uh, the Prime Minister uh, before when she was in India, so so her uh, interaction and cooperation with India uh, is a very good one. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, she definitely, uh, if uh, uh, given the opportunity, will be uh, uh, congratulating uh, the prime minister, or the future prime minister, if confirmed, uh, uh, in face, uh, face to face, I would like to say, okay. or in person, if possible. Um, anything else uh, here? OK, Gary, go ahead. This is a question regarding the PGA, Madam Espinosa's recent trip, I believe was last month to Cuba. Um, could you briefly summarize what was the purpose of it, what was accomplished, and did, does she anticipate going back again to Cuba? 
Oh wow! Well, uh, the the trip to Cuba was act happened actually after her uh, official trip to Mexico. Uh, Mrs. Espinosa received several uh, invitations from countries, and uh, yes, you are right. She went to Cuba. She met the, the president, uh, also the foreign ministers, but also uh, representatives uh, uh, of the United Nations, uh, organizations of women and young people, and uh, the the objective of these trips are uh, usually. Uh, the strengthening of uh, the relationships, uh, the working relationship with the United Nations, the cooperation with the United Nations. And in Cuba, she stressed uh, very clearly that she was uh, thankful for uh, the country's contribution to multilateralism. Uh, that's what she uh, accomplished there and did there, yes. But uh, we don't have any news on any um, further or any new uh, trip to, to Cuba, yes. Okay, anything else? If not, I will say I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.